Good evening guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is on the fragrances I have been wearing the most lately. So these are probably the last week to two. These are the perfumes I've been gravitating toward the most. And I also have one new one in here that I haven't shared with you before. And I also have one sample from a store that I wanna share with you my thoughts on. So if this is your first time on my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. My name is Alithia and on this channel we do talk a lot about perfumes. So if you love perfumes, I would love if you would consider subscribing. Also feel free to head and over and follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of details of my life. I share home decor, minimalism, decluttering, outfits of the day, scents of the day, fitness related stuff, perfume related stuff. So if that's something you think you would like, I would love if you would join my Instagram family. And with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. All right guys, so good afternoon. I hope everybody is having a really good day. Um, today, I thought I would do a video for you sharing the perfumes I've been wearing the most for the last week or so. I also have one new perfume in today's video that I wanted to share with you and one tester or one sample that I have that I almost bought a full bottle and I'm kind of glad I didn't, but sometimes I think I, st I still want to, but I, I think I'm glad I didn't buy a full bottle. So yeah, I hope everybody's having a really good day. Today has been, by the way, if you want to skip ahead again I will timestamp when the actual perfumes start but I know some of you do like to kind of chat with me in the beginning I wish we could actually chat but you know always feel free to leave a comment down below I do try my best to read all my comments um, but today is a day off and I went to the gym yesterday and did legs and glutes and I did them so hard you guys my I cannot even sit without pain like my butt hurts just to sit um, so I will not be doing them again for a couple of days I need to give them some time to rest and today I'm gonna go and do I think cardio and upper body and I did the laundry, did the dishes, <sighs> gotta go to the post office. I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to do today, just like little errands, but I'm really happy to have the day off so I can kind of just like go at my own pace and, um, yeah, so it's a good day. It's a really nice day. Sun is shining. Can't complain. And yeah, let me know how your day is going and let me know also what perfumes you've been wearing lately. And with that out of the way, let's get into these uh, perfumes. All right. So you guys, first of all, I want to share with you Lancome's Edol Aura. So this is the newest flanker from the Edol fragrance, which I'm not a huge fan of the original Edol. It's very beautiful, but for me, it was kind of a little bit boring. I hate to say it, but it kind of was, I felt like it was a little bit boring but it was boring in a good way because it was the type of perfume you could throw on all the time for anything and it was a very like essential kind of like an essential everyday perfume um, but for me I just didn't enjoy wearing it that much it didn't do anything to it didn't make me excited is the best way to put it so I don't ever mean to be rude or anything if you love aura it's a great scent um, but this one is the flanker and this one is called Aura. Yes, if I didn't say that. So this one is quite different to the original Aura. It's really interesting because this is actually a salty vanilla. So the original Aura was, I think, a pear rose musk. It was like a beautiful everyday fruity floral. This one is quite different. It's quite a departure from the original because this is a salty vanilla fragrance and there still is rose in here, but it's quite understated. And then they've also added jasmine. So this one opens with salt, rose, jasmine, sorry, salt and rose. In the middle you have jasmine and in the base you have vanilla and musk. And I tried this in the store, you guys, and I fell in love with it. Like it was a love at first sniff. I almost purchased it. And I'm really glad that the sales associate gave me a sample because after I actually wore it for a couple of days, I'm really glad that I didn't. And I'll tell you why. So let's go ahead and spray this really quickly. I don't know, sometimes I still want to buy a bottle. This is going to make me want to buy it again because I love this first spray. Yep, I love it. It's so pretty, you guys. Ugh, it's so nice. Um, but the dry down is very different and it also smells very different on clothing than it does, does on skin. I'm still, honestly, I still kind of want to get this, but okay, so when you first spray it, it, this is absolutely beautiful. So it says on the packet that this is our first sun-kissed floral scent. And yes, this definitely has a beachy quality to it. If you liked the original Idol or Edol, this is different. It still has a little bit of the original Edol in there, but it also has this sun-kissed beachy touch without having coconut. So there's no yellow florals, there's no frangipani, there's no coconut, but it does have this sun-kissed salty vanilla touch on it. Oh, it's so good, you guys. Like, it is really, really good. So this is the first spray. I'm getting rose. I'm getting a little bit of a salty vanilla. I'm getting this beautiful jasmine. Um, it almost reminds me a little bit of... Um 
Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun. It has that kind of salty vanilla touch. So if you like Vanilla Vibes from Juliet Has a Gun and you also like Rose, this would be kind of a nice in the middle. On the skin, this is gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. What happened for me, once I got this on my clothing, I sprayed this on um, a cotton shirt and after it dried down, the vanilla in here started to annoy me and I don't know why. It was kind of a, it became like a, almost a powdery jasmine vanilla. It was very bizarre. It, it was very, very different on clothing than it was on skin. And of course, perfume is always different on your skin than it is on clothing. So if I ever got this perfume, I think I would only be able to wear it on my skin. I don't think I'd be able to spray it all over. If you've ever tried Lancome Idol Aura, let me know your thoughts below. I can safely say that I think I like this better than the original. It's just more special to me and it has this like, yeah, it has this beautiful, sweet, sexy vanilla aspect to it that the original one didn't have as much. Um, so yeah, and this one actually has really good lasting power as well. You can tell that there's actually quite a good chunk missing from this tester, right? Because I've been actually using it. <laughs> Go me for actually trying things before I buy them. So um, yeah, and this actually lasted all day and I could still smell it on my shirt a few days later. So it actually had pretty good lasting power. It's just the difference between what I get on my skin versus what I get on my clothing was too drastic. I'm gonna have to keep playing with it though because it is a really beautiful, beautiful perfume and I think it's a very easy grab and go for the summertime. Okay, so this fragrance, I'm not gonna go into the notes for all of the perfumes, but I am gonna go into them for this one and for the Idol Aura because they're new. I haven't talked about them before, so this way you guys can get a really good idea as to what they actually smell like and what the notes are and things like that. So this is Valentino Donna Born in Roma Coral Fantasy. Wow, like longest name ever. They could have just called it Valentino Coral Fantasy. I think that would have been sufficient, especially because this doesn't have really any resemblance to Donna Born in Roma or even to the original Donna. Like I just, I don't really understand the whole flanker situation. Just make a new perfume, and give it a new name. So this one I got because I was in the mood for a shampooy scent. I really wanted a perfume that would make me smell just like I just freshly shampooed my hair. I was kind of looking for that like fruity, fruity fresh summer scent. And this one really just fit the bill. So this wasn't my first time trying this one. I tried it when it first came out and I was totally underwhelmed. I didn't like it. It was just like very meh for me. It wasn't anything special. And I think it's because I'm not a huge fan of fruity floor or fruity fresh fragrances. Things like uh, Kaoli Eat in Juicy Apple. That was totally not my cup of tea. I don't like a lot of body sprays and body splashes. They're just not my cup of tea. Um, but this one, after I tried it on my skin and I looked at it in the context of, I just washed my hair, I'm fresh, I'm clean. It really fit the bill for that. And I thought this would be a great one to wear on hot days in the summer and also to the gym. It comes in the same bottle as the original Valentino Donna Born in Roma. Um, it does have the black studs there and I think it's a very pretty bottle. I love the Valentino bottles. And this one opens with kiwi and Brazilian orange. In the middle you have rose, jasmine, and ambrette. And in the base you have white musk and Texas cedar. So let me take the cap off and tell you what it smells like. So it smells honestly like a simple, inexpensive body splash. That's what it smells like to me. This does not smell like a high-end perfume that costs what it costs. Um, this is not cheap. It costs the same amount as any other fragrance. And what I mostly get from it is a lot of that kiwi and that orange. It's mostly a fruity fragrance. I would say it's predominantly fruity. Then there's a little bit of that pretty jasmine and that rose coming through, which is really beautiful for the summertime. And then it dries down to a pretty basic musk. There's nothing special about this, you guys. Um, but I, that being said, I do really like the way it smells. And I have worn this uh, to the gym. There's actually a little bit of a dint missing already. I honestly don't know how I put dints in these Valentino perfumes so quickly. I think the bottles are like an optical illusion because I swear, like, I don't know, I've only worn it twice and I feel like I have a really big dent in here for only wearing it twice. Um, but I really liked it. I think it's a great scent for the, for the gym, like I said. And I was spraying it on a t-shirt so I don't think I got a full sensation for like how it will really be when it's on my skin and it's hot outside. I do intend to spray this just on my skin directly and wear it to the gym and see how that goes and we'll see how it projects and behaves and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, so this one is just a basic, splashy, 
fruity fruit basket <laughs> kind of fragrance and I like it nothing nothing crazy but you know it does fit the bill when I just need something refreshing the next one that I've been wearing a lot lately is the Jo Malone peony and blush suede and this one if you guys watch my channel regularly you already know how I feel about this one I absolutely love this I cannot believe how hard I have fallen for this perfume considering it's not new it's very popular especially for somebody just getting into perfumes like two years ago you would think that this would have been the first one I checked out because everybody talked about it and had it it's very popular and actually I did try it a couple years ago and I just wasn't loving it I think because I was so used to smelling um, your mainstream designer perfumes this one was just too light for me it was too like bland I found it very bland um, however, now that I've tried so many different niche houses and so many different designer scents, I have really come to appreciate the simplicity and the beauty and the effortlessness of the Jo Malone perfumes. And this one actually doesn't have terrible lasting power. It's not amazing, but it's not terrible. Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. I just cannot get over it. Every time I smell it, it just gives me the same reaction. It smells so good. And so this opens with apple, which I'm not a fan of apple, but the apple blends in very nicely with the other notes. It complements all the other notes very nicely. And it's not a tart green apple, it's a sweet red apple. So you have a little bit of a sweet red apple, you've got peony, and you've also got this beautiful soft suede note in the base. So it's not overly leathery. It's just very feminine and, and just gorgeous, and I just love it. And I think this is perfect for all year round. And it's light, it's not overpowering, it makes me feel very elegant and effortless. It makes me feel like that girl. When I wear it, I do feel super elegant and I feel very put together. And I think it's just very pretty. And I've said before, it also smells very bridal. The next one that I've been wearing, and you can actually see, are you guys proud of me? I don't usually put dints in things. Like, first of all, to begin with, I hardly ever put dints in things because I've been trying out new perfumes for so long that it takes me a really long time to actually find a perfume that I wear often enough to see a change. So this is pretty good. I've only had this back for like a month and a half, maybe two months, and I already have a dent. I'm so proud of myself. And this is a big bottle. So this is Clean Reserve Clean Skin, or I always call it the wrong thing. I think it's just called Skin. And it is a salty, musky, sweet, skin-like scent. Yeah, and it smells absolutely delicious. It's a little bit sweet. It's got a slight saltiness to it. It smells a little bit like clean laundry, sort of. It just has, it just has this beautiful, freshly washed, sweet skin smell. And this one I like to wear to work, actually, because it's so inoffensive and it doesn't bother people. It's very light. And I do get compliments on this one. If you get close enough to somebody, like if you walk past them, they might not necessarily smell you very strongly. But if you get close to them or lean over them, people can smell you. And I get compliments all the time saying, oh, you smell so nice or you smell so clean or what kind of soap do you use? Like I get those kind of compliments. And it just smells really, really beautiful. I'm like, I'm legit like shocked and also super proud that there's a dent in there. Um, but yeah, that is Clean Reserve Skin and I just really like it. The next one that I've been making an effort to wear more often is my Miss Dior Eau de Parfum 2017. I really want to wear through this bottle as soon as possible so it doesn't go bad because this bottle here is already two years old and you can tell the juice is getting darker and I can tell that it doesn't smell quite as fresh as it once did. It still smells good but it doesn't smell as good as it did two years ago. <laughs> so I can tell that the juice inside is darkening and changing and starting to age a little bit and I do have four backup bottles of this one but I really don't want this to go to waste so I am trying to wear it and unfortunately because the performance of this is so good it is gonna take a long time to go through this so I actually wore this to the gym yesterday and it might have been overkill in terms of the type of scent because this is not really a gym appropriate scent it's not something I would recommend for hot sweaty days or like super hot summer days it's got a lot of heaviness to it in depth it's a very sweet orangey rose patchouli um, so not, not what I would pick for the gym. This is more of like a signature scent every day, even going out for a nice dinner. It's just a beautiful fragrance, and I'm so sad that they've discontinued it. I don't know what on earth they were thinking, but or they reformulated it. Um, but you know, I put one spray on the inside of each elbow, and that was good. That was not too much. I feel like it projected just enough, but it wasn't like overpowering. And I could smell it on myself in the gym, and I really, really liked it. So. 
Maybe I'll have to start wearing this more often. And this can be super overpowering. I've heard people say it's too much for them, it's too strong for them. If you go light with it, it's not that bad. You just have to go light because it is potent. It so is the next fragrances I've been wearing are not actually perfumes. They are lotions, but they're scented lotions and they are very potent and they smell very strong and they work just like wearing a perfume. So these I actually wore last night um, for an evening with my partner because as you guys know, I absolutely love the um, Sol Chirosa the boom boom cream or the bum bum cream whatever you call it and I love the Shirosa 62 just by itself I have the body spray I have the perfume and I also have the lotion and then I also really like the Coco Cabana but I like it in lotion form so what I do is I mix these two together and apply it just like normal lotion but I don't go too crazy with it because it's also very very strong it acts just like a perfume if you put them on they act just like a perfume so yeah so that's what I do I mix them together let me just take the lids off here All right, so these are the beautiful lotions. <laughs> Don't they look nice? Um, they're so moisturizing to you guys. I think that they, the lotions are supposed to do different things, like they're supposed to have different benefits for your body, which, fair enough, but let's be honest, I don't wear them for health benefits <laughs> or skin benefits. I wear them for the way they smell. Um, but the Boom Boom Cream has like this warm, ivory yellow tint to it and it's really thick and rich and like super dense whereas the coco cabana has a lighter consistency and it's also lighter in color so i don't really know why that is oh they smell so good you guys like ridiculously good oh my gosh they just smell so good like absolutely they smell so crazy my favorite one is the the boom boom cream for sure hands down it drives me crazy I can see why it drives men crazy because it drives me crazy just smelling it I'm like oh my gosh crazy so um, yeah but when you mix these two together for some reason it is magic super super side note I know I talk about it a lot but it's because it's one of my favorite hotels if you've ever been to the Wynn Hotel in Las Vegas they have lotion and um, shower gel there and it comes in like a brown package and it smells so darn good and if you mix these two together it smells very very similar to their lotion so if you've ever wondering what the lotion smells like at the Wynn or if you've ever been there and you loved it and you were like where can I get that lotion I mean you can buy it there I'm pretty sure you can buy it there but if you want to recreate that feeling mix these two together and somehow it's very similar to their lotion it's just luxurious and sweet and feminine and bougie and delicious and it does the trick every time so yeah these I wore last night oh my god they smell so good you guys I can't even honestly like I should start wearing this all the time. I should just start wearing it all the time. But for some reason, I save these for date nights. I don't know why. Um, I think it's because I just find them very sexy. I find them very alluring and very like irresistible. And I know my boyfriend loves them. He loves the way these smell. Um, so I think that's why I wear them when I'm with him. But like, I should wear these. I should wear these all the time. Why am I not wearing these all the time? Life is too short. And finally, the last perfume that I wore this week was Alien from Mugler, which was very random. I actually put this on later in the night after, you know, later in the evening. And I just, I put it on. I don't know why I put it on. I just wanted to spritz myself with something new and I threw this on. And you know, I forget how much I love this until I wear it again. And then I remember why I love it so much. So this is a jasmine, amber, and woody fragrance. And if you know what this smells like, then you already know, but it's just so bold and so empowering and like cold and purple smelling and kind of sweet smelling. And yeah, I just love it. I just absolutely love it. You guys, I can't get enough of this one. It's still one of my favorites and so bizarre because it's one of the most polarizing scents on the planet and it's one of my favorites. So I have a little bit of a dent going in this bottle. It's nothing crazy. This is only a 30 ml bottle and when this one is out, I fully intend to get a large bottle and it's gonna be one of my signature scents. I still do plan to at some point, at some point, eventually, <laughs> once I'm done smelling all the perfumes in the world, call them down and have like my top 20 for life kind of thing. And this will definitely be on there. It is such a favorite scent of mine. I just can't get enough. So, and I love the scent memories. I love the scent memories that you can create with perfume. And I have a lot of really nice scent memories with this perfume. So, so those are all the perfumes that I wore this week, you guys. Um, that's a lot of perfumes actually. I'm like gonna pat myself on the back for that because I usually don't 
get this adventurous. I usually stick to my same old, same old kind of favorites, but yeah, let me know if you guys have any thoughts about these perfumes. Overall, I like them all, except I'm not really sure how I feel about the Aura because like I said, it smells so different. It smells so different on clothing than it does on skin and I, I think I would regret getting it. Like when I initially spray it, it makes me want a bottle, but then I'm pretty sure I would regret getting it. So other than that though, I obviously like all of these because I have full bottles and let me know what your guys' thoughts are and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.